Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Roto Tobin here on the Corn School today, joined by Steph Kowalski from the Agrimark Group. Hey, thanks for taking the time. Thanks for having me. Awesome. It's really great to have so many awesome agronomists join us on the show. And I want to ask Steph, Steph, we've got a field here, about four or five leaf corn, most of the corn's in the ground now. From a scouting perspective, what's your strategy? How do you attack a field like this? Well, Burn, usually I like to drive 80 mile an hour down the road <laughs> and check it out from there. I'm just No, just you don't kidding. see much there. No, 80 mile an hour is way too fast. You have to go 50 at least. Just, you gotta go 50. Just kidding. So we get into the field, Burn. Uh, boots are on the ground in the field. And uh, now at this stage of corn, it's a great a time to evaluate planter performance before we put it away in the shed uh, until next spring. Um, you know, check out how it's doing. Uh, you know, we're looking for any weed escapes, you know, before our window of weed control opportunity closes. And uh, we're looking at just the general health of the plant. The crop is exploding in this 30 degree weather and, uh, you know, growing rapidly. So we got to make sure it's fed appropriately. So we're checking out the general health of the crop at the same time. Awesome. Um, I'm going to ask you to take us on a little tour of this field, see what you find. You ready? Awesome. Let's okay. go. One thing I'm seeing this year a lot of is intervenal striping in, in the whirl of the corn plant. Last year, you know, we had a cooler, wetter spring. The corn wasn't growing as quickly. This year, we're having plus 30 degree temperatures in May. The corn crop is loving it and it's growing aggressively. Um, this striping in the whirl can easily be confused with a nutrient deficiency, but um, more often than not, right now, I'm seeing it as rapid growth. So nothing to worry about, drive on, but maybe keep an eye on it, check back in 10 or 15 days that it's maybe subsided a little bit. You know, Burn, one of the first things that popped out of me in this field is uh, a problem weed patch like this horsetail patch here. Um, these weeds are becoming harder and harder to kill. Weeds like horsetail, nut sedge, and annual bluegrass. Um, we're finding across the province more and more patches of them. Uh, now is a great time in the crop to, to document where these patches are and develop an action plan like in next year's soybean crop or um, you know if nut sedge, if you have a nut sedge patch, now is the time in the corn crop to take it out. So um, it's really important to, to keep track of these weeds as they continue to spread. Digging this time of the year really gives you a good chance to find some answers. Like we dug in this gap in the row here and found a seed that had encountered some cold, uh, cold injury. And uh, this is valuable information because we now know that this gap was not a result of planter malfunction and a simple uh, environmental condition. Another opportunity when you're scouting this time of year is uh, really to evaluate the planter performance. We spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on these uh, pieces of equipment to make sure that they're singulating perfectly and, and uh, seeding at the, at the appropriate depth. So um, really now is the time to get out and evaluate that because a lot can change from the time you drop the seed to when the plant comes up. Um, so you know, getting out and digging with your trowel or your shovel, looking at the gaps in the row, looking at the later emerged plants, are they seeded deeper? Uh, why are they later emerging? And, you know, evaluating how many doubles you have in the row are, are all valuable pieces of information. Um, you know, in this field here, we've got our, our, our tire tracks that we're using as kind of our guidance onto what row of the planter are we looking at. And we can see in, uh, in a certain row, I think it's row four here, um, we, we have a few doubles and, and skips quite consistently. So that's a valuable piece of information to track that across the field and uh, see if it's repeating. Um, you know, to take that planter in back into the shop and reevaluate and, and look at what's going on.